I've got a few questions for you, Nathan. One of them is about your your creative process. Again, when you look at your garments, when you look at um, you, the the photos you put out and your Instagram, etc., the, the, there's a look, there's a look and a feel. So uh, I'm interested to know what what's your creative process. Okay. Um, ah, that's a tr tricky one. Um, basically, like, say for instance, I'll see just. Um, say like someone like Kanye West or something like that yeah so like you see him on stage and that yeah and you think you know what sometimes he looks good like in what he's wearing but if you were to look into what he's wearing he's wearing something like a Vinci or he's wearing something big designer make and I mean before I started I used to always want oversized tops I just couldn't find them in the UK yeah, and yeah. I, I basically like when I did find out what kind of tops the oversized were doing it was like it was like a Vinci, like 300, 400 pound t-shirts and stuff. And I was just like, you know, I'm not spending that much on, on a t-shirt, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, how, how can I get that cheaper kind of thing? Mm -hmm. um, and then it, it just come about that, you know, try and make it myself. Because I did try and look around for for like oversized clothing and that. And the best I could come up with was like, say like his clothes or something. Yeah, um, yeah. And I didn't particularly want to walk out on the street with like ladies' garments and people saying, "Oh, we wearing a woman's top or whatever, whatever." Yeah. So then, my thought pattern for that year is like, if I, you know, if I go and source fabrics and stuff, I basically I source the fabrics and I just, I just, I just see things I really like and I just think, you know what, I like that fabric. And then it doesn't really hit me there and then. I just go off my instincts and think, you know, what, I like that, so I'm just gonna get that you know, get a roll of some fabrics or whatever, I bring it back to the studio and then, you know, the magic starts really, I guess, yeah, I just... Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm no designer myself, uh, you know, I've, I've never really done fashion design or anything like that, but do you, in terms of the, the, the general sort of fashion design process would be, you'd get an idea, you'd sketch it, um, you know, you'd maybe cut out a, a test pattern and look at different colour palettes and patterns etc do you follow that same kind of, of process do you do you go down a route of sketching etc what what's the process after you've had that initial spark of inspiration okay I'll be totally honest with you I don't sketch anything I never did that because I didn't know what I was doing I didn't know I didn't know that that's the process do you know what I'm saying like I just like I said from the start I kind of just landed in it like I didn't know what I was doing yeah, I didn't have a yeah. clue so I never used to sketch things I mean, now, like, I, I sometimes doodle and sketch things sometimes, but it's, mm. it's, not like, it's not a definite, like, I think I have to draw it first. But I will do it. And, like, when it comes to, like, I do, like, I do do mood boards and stuff like that. I'll get fabrics and colours and put them together and stuff, um, yeah. you know, just to get the feel of the colours and that. Um, but on a whole, I'd say nah, because my whole process thought, like, I don't, I wasn't taught how to do fashion, so yeah, I'd say nah. I don't, I don't really yeah. like overall. I don't, that's not me, nah. Yeah, I think a, a lot of people would be surprised. Um, you know, looking at the lines you put out, looking at the, you know, the the style, etc. That I think they'd be quite surprised hearing your story now that your approach is quite unconventional. Do you think that it's it's that unconventional approach that makes white label what it is? Definitely. I don't tend to go down the same routes as everybody else. I tend to just, in a sense, do my own thing and not hope that it works. You get, I don't really hope that it works. I know it's going to work. You get, you get me? It's like yeah. you gotta have a lot of self-belief as well. So, like, I believe in my brand. I believe in my products that I do. So, I guess if people notice that I do, they're going to also start to believe in it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah.